Hey, hey, everybody, Kevin here with Pursuing Pixels, and as you can see, I'm going to be playing some control here, and even though I'm selecting Continue Game, this is my uh, first playthrough. I just, like, booted it real quick to check the levels and whatnots, but I really have seen pretty much zero of this game other than the, uh, you know, little bits I've seen from, like, trailers and clips online, and John's talked about it on the podcast a couple of times now and really has sold it hard, and they just added yeah, it to it's Game Pass, so... Weirder. I'm gonna cool. dig into it. Can't be helped. Hopefully, I have the level set okay. If not, you call too me. bad. <laughs> That's just rude. Sorry. <laughs> but I have it kind of cranked in my headphones, so hopefully, I won't be yelling I at all. I shut you out sometimes. Like in this voice acting, I'm though. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that. I get my hopes up. And I know if you tune into the channel, so normally I'm playing like little indie stuff, nothing. but I have not played a triple A game in a long time, nothing. so I'm kind of excited to uh, dig into this one here. It's and I mean, it's been a while, especially a non Nintendo triple A. Like, I love the Mario and Zelda stuff, but. We stare at it and we I don't always dig into like shooters, or, but this one seems like it's got. The room. Some cooler stuff going on. And the poster. The poster. This the looks a little more like a painting. I'm drinking some eggnog and whiskey, by the way. Um, <laughs> just like in case movie. things get a little silly what here. What is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell. Is that and supposed to be the same person? Different for each of us. It I don't think so. I hope not. Or terrible. Ryan Reynolds, but maybe? We're all trans fixed oh maybe not it's all a lie something to distract us from the truth they're lying to us we're lying painting of a ourselves. janitor the room's not the world the world is much bigger and much stranger there's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world we all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. Could they have picked any word other than poster? That just sounds so lame. I'm here. <laughs> Why did you bring me here? Painting. Just say painting. What the hell were they thinking? Hello? Anyone here? At least I can jump. Can't jump in every 3D game, so... Let's, uh... Ooh. Metal detector. Okay. Got any goodies? No dice. How about... What is that texture? Oh, there it goes. It popped in. <laughs> Looked like so blurry for a sec. Federal Bureau of Control. All these years, I've been looking for them, and they were hiding in plain sight. Can I crouch? No? Can I roll? No. So that looks... Uh, maybe it's still glass, anyways. Looked like it was just an opening. Maybe this is just a hallway. No? And a waiting room? Okay. I don't usually care that much about collectibles and stuff. I mean, I'll hunt around a little bit, but... I'm not gonna open up my inventory and check out every little, you know... Souvenir I grab. Hello? Oh, janitor. Hey, excuse me. 
Sir, you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. The heck? Very good. I'm Ahti. The janitor, by the way. You work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, Helmet. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna you out. I've done enough night shift loner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Oh, okay. Auntie the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Alrighty. Fire alarm? No. This seal. I saw it a long time ago. I keep seeing it in my dreams. Okay. This is where I just came from. Or not where I came from, but where I started at. Oops. Well, missed something over here. Another worthless collectible. I think I got turned around at some point here. No, oh, what the heck? Oh. This elevator just did not seem like it was going to be functioning. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? I just really wish they said painting. Like, really bad. <laughs> Digging this opening credit sequence, though. Getting like almost like a little bit of a Metal Gear Solid vibe, maybe? Just from like this opening sequence. Like X-Files meets Metal Gear. All right, here we go. Did I lose you there for a moment? This house doesn't you know look that old, by mind. the way. My baby brother. The Dylan. oldest house. Seventeen oh. years since the little <laughs> took him. Little too physics-y. Let's go a little deeper. Is that an alarm? Sounds like it. Key card? Uh, you know, this is from the same people that made Alan Wake. I wish I had that flashlight. What the hell are they? Look at this. The desk. <laughs> There's even stuff I can pick up on this desk. What the fuck is this? <laughs> well, I thought there was, at least. I don't know where it went. Good thing I don't care about collectibles. Look at this. This is a sweet poster. Uh. Shit. Peekaboo. 
Shit, shit, shit. You want me to pick it up? The murder weapon? Really? Uh, I don't know who you're talking to, but sure. Murder weapon or suicide weapon? I couldn't tell from that intro. I'm assuming this is that same uh, Ryan Reynolds. Whoa. And there goes the poster. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events. Intrusions. <laughs> what is that notification reality? still up now, at the top left for? The service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Little FMV. I'm into that. Now the weapon is talking, I think. Oh, look Maybe? At this place. Where am I? Okay. Well, that. I'm trying to get that notification to go away. Or that thing at the top. Do I have to, like, look at it or something? I have to go to my missions? track follow the board's instructions okay oh nice you get a reticle you don't always get that in a third person game oh yeah Okay, melee time. Oh yeah, that packs a punch. The same gun. I was gonna say, didn't I already pick this up? Okay, now I have a gun. Alrighty. Yeah, you know it's the aim button. I suck at shooters, by the way. So fair warning. But if you ha if you if you haven't noticed by now, you're not coming here for <laughs> a speed run or anything. Okay, let me untrack this mission and see if that goes away. That's just really annoying. Yeah, get out of here. It's like I can remember the one fucking thing I need to do. God, I suck. Like, my version of aiming is, like, just moving around slowly. <laughs> get the hell out of here. Oh, yeah, melee. These are some tough customers for just, like, a pile of ash. Oh, and you got guns now, huh? Sit down. I like that this just seems to be, like, an auto-reload. Or not auto-reload, but, like, ammo recharge. Okay. I'm digging this though so far. I know I'm like joking around, but I'm digging this. Duty as director. Heavy duty. Heavy duty. Did you hear that? Rock and roll. It's the dead man. Right after the pyramid spoke to me, and it was just noise, and I understood every word. And this gun's alive. That's you know, right. I'm happy. 
happy to be here. <laughs> Things right. are quieted down outside. Oh, this desk is, is bolted down. Oh, nice. Got a nice map here. Can I zoom in? Oh, and you can... Oh, that's awesome. Great touch. Oh, fucking shit. What the hell is this? What the fuck? What the fuck? Also, what is that reticle still in the middle of the screen for? Is this some more FMV? In control. That was horror. Be nice if that reticle went away. away. Sometimes I feel bad for being a potty mouth, but if the protagonist is gonna curse too, no holds barred. Ah, back to the lab. Shit. The fuck? These sound effects again. I don't know if I have it mixed well, but these sound effects are like there's just shit like whipping around. I've got headphones on, so I'm hearing like every. Oh, see this shit is still just like toppled over. I thought it was maybe gonna repopulate. That's actually kind of cool though. I'm not sure if I'm just supposed to. Oh. Go back to where I came from, or what, or... The hotline. Secure line of communication. What the fuck? Guide us. Breach the hotline. This is sweet. Oh, no. Right in the face. Are these, uh, enemies? Nope. Oh, shit. These are. Where the fuck are you shooting from? Can you duck? I don't think so. Oh, yeah, you can. Boom! Boom, sucker. Sit down. Where are you shooting from? Sit down. Oh, come on. Oh, what is this? Duck. Do I, re do I regen health? Sit down. Boom! Oh, shit. Where else? Okay. Oh, I don't regen health. That's right. The enemies drop stuff. I gotta pick it up. I got a health bar right at the bottom. Yeah, I'm like an idiot. Whew. Whew. That was close. Whew. There we go. Is there more health hanging around? Oh, yeah. These voices are creepy as hell. Let me see if I turn this tracker back on, if it shows up on the map. Maybe it does? Oops. Wrong button? The hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss. Burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right. It's our enemy. That babble's okay. contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. <laughs> okay. Let's just forge ahead to this fucked up room. 
Am I just supposed to jump? Oh yeah, it's not as far of a drop as I thought. I'm so dead though. Oh yeah, blind shooting. Oh no, nades. Fuck. I'll pop you if I have to. Oh, fucking shit. Dang. This is no joke. Let's try that again. Oh, even just damaged enemies drop health. Okay. I was assuming it was uh, only after you kill him. I like that. It almost reminds me of like a uh, little like weirder, but it almost reminds me of like Punch Drunk Love, that visual effect there. Hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Okay, at least I'm back Is to full health now. Enemy? All right, it's our enemy. That babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. <laughs> That seems to just be for, for show. Oh yeah, sit down. Oh yeah. That feels so satisfying, that like wrist punch or whatever the hell. Oh yeah. Right in the chest. Oh shit, oh what the... Okay. Back up. Back up. Ah, fuck you. That was dumb. Of me, not of the game. But... <laughs> A little too reckless there. But I think I can assume it. Well, I guess I don't know if that's the last uh, enemy I have to take down there. But if it is, I think I can get through here. I should. This is like the, what, the second or third, like, combat sequence in the game. I'm like, I think, I think I should be able to do this. Hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The yeah, hiss I'm just going straight for it. Burrowing into everything in this place. Okay. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's out. Get away. There we go. I like this parkour. A little more nimble than Nathan Drake. Back up. Oh, is this one of one of these idiots? You already here? No. No. Give me some help. There's two of them already. The fuck is this? Go away. Jesus. Okay. Oh, there's a bunch of health over there. No. No. Well. <laughs> oh, no. Fuck you, man. Ugh. That's some garbage. I'm playing like a jerk. Playing like a jerk. I just had to open my fat mouth and say, like, I think I can, uh, I think I can beat this.
one more time. I keep hitting the I was playing Void Bastards earlier, and I keep hitting the wrong button to crouch. Hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right. Sit down. Damn, I got hit by that explosion? Come on. I'm definitely not going to get it this time. I got to stop trying to be so pinpoint accurate. I'm trying to like headshot every time. Obviously, I'm not not doing it, but you can just kind of drill them. Just run around the outside. Okay. Recharge. Back up. There you go. Give me some more health. This is sweet. These visual effects. Help me fix it. Um. Little ground pound. Yeah, I know. I remember hearing that. Yeah, like the whole place like shifts around a bunch which is really cool holy shit you did it we did it hello can you hear me yes i can are you with us with the bureau no are i'm not oh I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, a Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. Did I'm I say that out loud? I should have lied. Oh shit. You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out. Um. Ready for combat. Director Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss, that works. Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. I really I hate like the these words. The hiss, the poster. Down. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the, the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. <laughs> I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. Bob Dylan. 
But there's something I need to ask you to do first. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the Bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Okay. You with me? All right. I did it before. Push the hiss out. Sorry if the sound is booming. And they just break their neck. <laughs> it didn't work. The hiss has burrowed too deep. Ripping it out rips them apart. Uh Jesse, over here. We need to make a plan, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw you evaporate that I guy. I can't cleanse them. <laughs> it was worth a shot. Thank you, director. <laughs> it was Jesse. worth a shot to evaporate that guy. <laughs> I'm gonna tell him why I'm here. Oh, oh my game. god. Listen. The hero was involved in an I don't know why that was so funny to me. Incident in my hometown, ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time, and very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us, or a few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench, the ghost, or whatever he is, he mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun, an old Bakelite telephone. A I'm trying to figure out what this thing that uh, the director and the Emily board. Pope is wearing I here. Talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mailroom. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay. Thanks. That's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. Will do. They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm a producer. <laughs> Why am I here? At least I can I make myself laugh. This. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's like it's Magneto's real cell in uh, X2 or X3. This. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. If they say hiss one more time, I'm stopping playing. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm just kidding. Obviously, they're going to say it probably 500 more fucking times. I've always wanted a nice leather chair like that. Look, I know all this right. is all new to you, so don't hesitate to ask me anything you want to know. There are no stupid questions. The door to the comms department. Don't care. Let's check these missions. Communications department. I'm gonna untrack that because I can just, just look at the map. The board room back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. Follow the signs to the mail room. You can get to the hotline containment chamber through there. Good luck, Jesse. See you back here once you have the hotline. Okay. Thanks, Emily. I think I'm going the right way here. Hopefully I can navigate around. Yeah, I think I can. Some coffee thermos. Oh yeah. Maybe I should just read these signs. So creepy just seeing people floating around. I think I want to go the other way, actually. If I can. Yeah. This is that radio again. Oh, weird. So, yeah, it's like the same area. That's kind of cool. I dig how the map is shifting around. Yeah, here we go. Into some uncharted territory. Another pointless radio. I'm sure there's some achievement for turn on every radio. Ooh, a bathroom complaint. Whoa. The fuck? What was that? Okay, I thought I got like a new item. Guessing I gotta go through those golden doors. These seem like some kind of... Ooh, health recovery, okay. Definitely seem more than just like picking up some scraps off the tables. Where am I now? Yeah. Shoot. There's nowhere to go through here. Can I go down a level? Oh, shit. There it is again. Our welcome message. Here we go. There's no point. I've already tried shooting one of those non like enemies before. No clearance yet, still. Okay. Oh no. Don't even think about it. I like how you, like, the things you can pick up, though, like, give a quick flash. Like, the circle kind of pops up. Oh, get down. Get down.
stay down. <laughs> Open loadout, health boost. Personal mods. Oh, I can add a bunch of stuff. So yeah, health boost. I just have a bunch of health boosts. I can only do... Oh, I can only do one at a time, I guess. Weapon mod. So this is what I was picking up. Energy renewal. Ah, energy gain from headshots. Okay. Okay. I'm into that. No. There we go. I'm definitely into this. Okay, make sure I'm still going in the right general direction. This is fucked up. Oh, shit. Overpowering here. You don't want me anywhere near it. I'm with you on that. Yeah, I'm not going. <laughs> not dealing with that. I thought I saw somebody shooting at me. Where they at? Where they at? What the heck? There we go. Oh, there's more. Oh, shit. Headshot. Charge. Oh, perfect timing. Oh, they're coming from the bathroom, huh? Down here. Quick newspaper article. Oh, come on. Oh, fucking shit. Yeah, I can't go in there yet, I don't think. Yeah, no. That's just doing damage. Okay. Grab this health. Okay, can't go in there. Have I been here? No? Definitely not. Um... This is creepy as fuck. I didn't mean to. Duck. Thought I heard a shot. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, I guess I gotta... If they have that red aura, I gotta give them a punch first. Hit a headshot already. Jesus. Damn it. Okay. Gotta give him another... Sock it to ya! Oh, shit. Where are you firing from? There you are. Ho ho ho! Pound you into the ground. 
right back at you. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, nothing over here. Looks like I'm forging ahead. Or is this where I came from? No. I don't believe so. Definitely not. Headshot McGee! Nope. Yeah. Ground pound. Full health. Heck yeah, this is so cool. Although it's obviously going to make navigating this map a little tougher, even though I can access it. But I'm assuming things are going to keep shifting around. Okay, what's my next objective here? Navigate through the communications department. Okay. Which is where I am, I presume. Now this is where I. Ca oh no, communications, communications department. Perfect. Right track. Gotta look for the signs a little more too. Maybe here first. Oh. What the fuck? An object of power. Like Holy shit. We need to cleanse it. I supposed to do here okay some more goodies now this kind of stuff I want not always but it seems like some of those boxes have had like some some items in them Supposed to get up there somehow? Ooh, the scaffolding. There we go. Sprint. I supposed to do here? Just run up to this thing? I guess so. Floppy disk. Or a hard disk, actually. No, that's a hard disk. It's harder to hear you when I'm here. It's like channel's been changed. The boards in charge here, their pyramids in bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling nice. the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. I 
told you, I'm a producer. <laughs> I'm so how are we gonna call back to the worst joke I've ever made? Maybe not ever, but one of. This is sweet though. Oh shit. Get out of my way. Boom. So kind of auto target a little bit, yeah. Nice. Okay, you gotta have, you gotta watch that energy meter. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a targeting lock on this attack, which I am all about. Get out of here. Sit down. Take me back to reality. That it feels sweet. I really like that ability. You were gone. I guess that explains why those desks can just go I got it. flying. Just like you wanted, right? How about... Oh, you don't even notice, huh? How about now? How about now? I see you coming. Got a bag of flour for your ass. Oh, fuck. How's it feel? Oh. Better watch out for that cardboard box. Plastic garbage can. I'm coming for you. <laughs> I guess that would still hurt. Not the cardboard box, though. Oh, it's... You got a hard hat? Back up. Safe this time? Yeah! Nope. Ah, oh, sweet though. That's cool. A little bit of health. Maybe I want to go to the mail room. I guess yeah, this seems like the the way I want to go. Emily said that the hotline can be reached through the mail. Are there enemies in here? At least none in my immediate presence. See if I can upgrade any of my other stuff. I don't think so yet. No, I gotta unlock. Gotta unlock more stuff. Mm. 
may oh maybe to the mail room maybe not Locked. maybe there's a key nearby well that was this easy must open the door yeah might as well claim another control point All right, clearance level one. Achieved. Oh, heck yeah. Bring it on, baby. They can fly now. Oh, shit. Give me something good. Come on. It's like an actual boss. Fuck! Sniped. Wesley fucking sniped. Alright, let's try that again. That was embarrassing. Alright. Okay. They can fly now? They can fly now. Great. Crouch. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Oh, steel chair. I thought Vince said no more chair shots. <laughs> For any of you wrestling fans out there. Which, actually, I don't really watch WWE anymore. I just can't support Vince McMahon. He's just such a pile. All right. I think I have to just shoot this thing, though. I don't think I'm able to... Uh, until I'm maybe able to, like, ground it or something, it doesn't seem like I'm able to uh, hit it with, like, a desk or a fire extinguisher. I almost said fire hydrant. They can fly now. Great. Let's get down. Get down and stay down. And get back up. Get back down. Back up. Okay, there are more enemies coming. So I can at least fuck them up. Get down. Boom, right in your face. Get down. Okay, I'm getting there. Just pulling shit out of thin air. Give me some health. Crouch! Crouch. Oh, shit. Give me some health. Crouch back down. Okay, 
Okay, I got ya. I got ya. Oh, maybe not. Maybe you're gonna run away, but... Got gotcha you nonetheless. All right. I have a feeling he'll be back. Me too. Let's stay focused. The hotline should be past the mailroom. Hotline chamber. There we go. See if there's any of those bins back here. Double check, make sure there's nothing upstairs. Oh, cool. This will take me there, too. Worth taking the long way around. All right, take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness this is the person I just took down. The hotline can't be far now. Sonic weaponry? There's some, like, real, like, true story about that in Cuba. Or at least it's, like, speculated. I, I think I listened to, like, a podcast episode about that a long time ago. Or a while ago. Uh, there we go. Hotline Miami. Oh. Have a seat. Magneto. Oh no! <laughs> I didn't see that coming at all. Thought it was like gonna be some like I'm just like walking on thin air, cutscene sort of thing. Whoops. That first step's a doozy. Named enemies present a tougher challenge. Okay, I'm assuming, so that Tumnasi or whatever was a named enemy, and yeah, their health bar was like up at the or down at the bottom, like not right above their head. All right, where am I starting at? What? Gotta fight them again? You gotta be kidding me! This is some bullshit. Okay, no. It's about to say. <laughs> I was about to say. But all right, take this down. Let me see if it grab this. Okay, cool. Authorities. The mysterious illness affecting oh. the staff at the US Embassy in Havana. Another little goodie. I think I went the wrong way. Yeah. Okay, I went that way for. Oh, it's not a door. So I went that way first. That's really annoying that I had to run all the way back through this. The Ocean View Motel and Casino. Dream Logic. The Light Switch Court. Door marked with the Black Pyramid. Okay. Stand here. Whoa. Have we been here before? I don't no. get that. Hold on it like I multiple times. Roadside motels across the country on the road, on the run, under the radar. This feels like all of them, like something recognized from a dream. Didn't they say the one with the triangle on the door? Here? 
It's kind of cool. Twin Peaksy a little bit. behind the counter. Is that the only door it lets me interact with? confused. Let's see what my mission is. Now traverse the Ocean View Motel. Okay. Let's try that again. Okay. There's like hardly anything else interactable here. Can't use my power, I don't have my gun. second looked like there was like a crazy light coming out of there come on this is gonna take me back I don't fucking understand what I'm supposed to be doing here let me read that whole thing again tell me anything about the Ocean View Motel. All right. Cuz yeah, there's this is the only other one with a triangle. Nothing I can grab. Oh, wait a sec. I don't think I was in here before. Nothing in there, though. here. Ah, oh, wait, the janitor, though. They made that big deal about the janitor at the beginning. Try that door again, maybe? No dice. Wait a sec. So that room's not open that time this time. Okay. Here we go. Black pyramid on it. 
Here we go. Not what I was picturing what was happening there, but okay. Let's go. Didn't even have to use the key. Oh, what the fuck? Whoa. Alrighty. Magneto, here I come. Let's play some chess. I love this, like, funky audio. Astral Plane Challenge. Let's go. Isn't that even an X-Men thing? The Astral Plane? What the fuck is going on? What in the hell? Somehow I'm still alive? Okay. I guess I like respawned after falling. Can I even hurt this thing? I definitely can't go near it. run. Oh, shit. Okay, I just gotta outrun these things. Or outmaneuver them. Holy shit, though. I'm about to die. But I gotta get that phone call. Of power. Another FMV. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is, under the right conditions, to other planes of existence as well. That phone looks so real. A director needs a team. My management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Tomasi, that's how you Marshall say it. especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But it's not a big deal, but it just feels so janky director. that they have like the some of the UI still showing up, or all the UI really showing up on the screen during cutscenes. Doesn't bother me, obviously, but just seems a little jank, a little nosebleed. I have it. The hotline. I can reach Trench. Well, listen to him. He feels more like an echo, an echo with important info. I need to get back to Emily. Back to the Pope. People react strongly when I tell them about you. Is it too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help. Is this the right way? Or is this the right way? Director's office, okay. Well, this is where I found the uh the director. Where would Emily be? Central executive, maybe? I think so.
Almost positive. Ah, I can change outfits? I guess not yet. But this will recharge my health. And... I think I'm going to uh, call the video here. I'm going to probably pick this game up and do some more streaming of it. But I'm going to do kind of like a first hour for now. And uh, getting a little tired, actually. But I might play some more stuff later tonight just for a little bit. Uh, but otherwise, uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. I'm excited to play some more Control. Like I said, I know I've been just kind of goofing on the game this whole time. But I'm excited to have a little chat with uh, Emily Pope here. So... Did you get the hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms? The hiss? I'm going to leave it there, but thanks again for watching, and take care. I'm glad. Emily? Let's talk. Of course.